The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. We are not that. It's not as easy as it looks. I can't see anything. My eyes have been dilated, so. Oh, of course you like them. They're Michael Kors. Everybody has been to a hospital in the past two years. Bert, Alexa, LJ, Dylan. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. So yes, right about now, most people know, or if you don't know, my parents are moving out of town and I'm gonna be alone for the first time in 45 years. It's a really big deal. My children have all come to me one-on-one, -on -one preparing themselves for the big move. In order to encourage my parents' dream of this retirement place that they wanna to go to, which I think is absolutely fabulous, we drove up to Orlando and went to inspect the new home. They have to take us to the home site. Do you know where your home site is on here? Uh, I don't know, somewhere on there. <laughs> There's your house. No way, dang. Okay, we just arrived at our future home. We came about a month and a half ago with Bert and Alexandra. There was nothing here, just an empty lot. Look now, one month and a half. It was fabulous. My God, it's always so tall. My mom and my dad, until that point, we'd seen the land, we'd seen how they had outlined their lot and everything. We are at my parents' new retirement home, and it's uh, probably about six or seven weeks from final. There's my parents checking out everything over there. Dad's taking pictures of everything. When they actually saw the roof and the walls and the electrical and everything, we went to inspect it. They were just so giddy. It was awesome to see my parents so happy. I'm feeling like all the around it's all the really happening. The and these things you see here are being put up today. That's for stucco. They're stucco stuccoing the walls already. These things I thought were really cool. They put these in to protect the cable when they're putting in the drywall. So I thought that was kind of cool there too. We put a waterfall right here. And then this is the entrance to their bedroom. This is the shower, which is really long. Starts over here and ends up all the way over here. And then the garage, which they extended out a little bit over here. And then my dad's building his office over here and park his golf cart over here. Party in my parents' house, probably for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Their home being built is such a big milestone for our family because it's the first time that we're all going to be in separate cities. I'm probably gonna go have lunch and then, I don't know, go back to Miami or I have no idea what else. One of the cool things about where my parents are moving to is that they have so many things to do. It's a 55 plus golf cart community. They have so many activities that I know that my parents will be able to enjoy. I'm going to the other club, not the main one, the second one. So there's a lot of choices for her to do here and all within walking distance. There's a shuffleboard over here. There's a jacuzzi. Do you think you guys are gonna come and visit me? <laughs> huh? Look at that. This is great, you know. You feel like you're in a resort area because everything that you need to, to relax and, and have a nice time, you have it right here. So one of my all-time favorite pastimes is bike riding. But unfortunately in Miami, it's really hot most of the time. And so you don't really get to go outside and enjoy the outside all that much. But recently, it was fairly cool. So today I am bike riding through different parts of Miami. Miami is known for its beauty. You know, it's palm trees, it's sun, it's, it's water, it's weather. For me, for a native, it's kind of all the same, you know, it's flat. But on a bike, you can actually kind of sneak in and see various things that you don't normally get to see in Miami true natural Miami. The more natural things that are hidden now, like mangroves and other traditional Miami places that aren't even known for Miami anymore. One of the things that Miami has that a lot of people aren't really that aware of is history. Miami's actually been here for quite a while. And one of the most famous historical families are the Mathesons. The Mathesons are known for the Matheson hammock, but one of the other things that they were known for is agriculture and things like that. And so I discovered that they had an old hidden greenhouse nearby. And I just had to go and sneak in and see it. There are bicycles in the secret garden. 
Yeah. When I walked in, it felt really neat. It was kind of spooky, like, I don't know, there was like a presence there, but at the same time, it was historical. It's the original greenhouse of the Matheson family. Very cool. I kind of felt like I was sneaking in and I shouldn't be there, but it was really, it was a cool experience. Very cool. <laughs> Alex and I got invited to go to this uh, support group for victims of human trafficking. Kind of like a ministry group, I guess, a little bit of a Bible study. Because with our nonprofit motivational missionaries, one of our big key concepts that we're really working on is human trafficking and helping to educate kids on the risk factors. So we got to meet past survivors of this horrible crime. Two things that really stuck with me that I loved. I fall in love with myself. I don't need anybody else. Because I like that one. And that is definitely, I mean, they all say everybody struggles with self-love. And what's neat about the support group is it combines spirituality and religion and belief into it. So it really helps people come back fully from an experience like that, or as fully as you possibly can. Oh, the way that the don'ts in the Bible, God's way or whomever you want to say, way of not really reprimanding you or telling you what you can and cannot do, but how to protect yourself because they don't want you to get hurt. It's a different way to look at it, but I like that perspective. So did I. I enjoyed it. Took away the like reprimanding God and gave me this like caretaker God view. It was, it was good. When I go to things like this, I just feel like I want to learn more so that I could help more. Mm -hmm. So that I could tell more people because I know that I'm a strength. I'm an unusual strength. Our team is able to deliver the strength. Yeah. And I think that's your strength. <laughs> and I think it's important and, and, and sometimes it's really hard to hear the stories and to help people that are so far down on the ground because you get affected because you're human. And you just gotta stay strong. And I think with the techniques that we show people and we teach people, it does make them strong. Because I wasn't always strong. All these lessons and, and, and tools that we've learned and worked on for so many years, I know have helped me. When sometimes I feel so weak, but I love that she said that sometimes you just feel empty and you gotta refill yourself. And, 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 and it's so important how you refill yourself. I think that was the biggest takeaway that I got tonight. I knew we were going to a church, but I really wasn't thinking that we were going to some kind of ministry group or anything. It was I was thrown off guard and then I was like, okay, I guess I'll go with the flow and see and it, it was good. Because Alex and I are very spiritual, it was a really neat experience overall for us. Let's review the episode. First, Alex. Alex having to be away from her parents, which is really difficult because she's been close to her parents since she was born. They live really close to each other and now they're moving to another part of the state. However, in life, you sometimes need to let go in order to grow. So as even though it sounds a little tough, all of this is a separation momentarily. And as it is, it's also an evolution of new things that are going to be coming. I want you to look at it in a positive way. And the second thing that we learned from the episode was that when Valerie says, you know, I like bike riding, how many of you really step out of your comfort zone? A lot of times we stay in our zone and we really don't realize how many beautiful things we have in our surroundings because we get stuck in our house, in our job, in our comfortable automobile. What I want you to do this week is step out of your comfort zone. Get on a bike. Go ahead. Go for a stroll. Go for a walk. Go camping. Do something that's different. Get out of your comfort zone. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And remember, keep on making it happen. I'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Val, and welcome to the family. Make sure to like, comment, and share. Hey. And subscribe, of course.